Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. We're a homeschool family and I thought I'd just bring you along for the morning and show you kind of our morning routine on a homeschool day and then bring you along for the rest of the day like I usually do, show you what we eat, what we do, all the things we get up to. So if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos on my channel, make sure to hit that like button down below and leave me a comment and say hello and let's get into today's video. I am definitely not a get up at the crack of dawn kind of person. It's just not the way I'm wired. It doesn't work. So we usually get up around 7.30 and we start school by 8.30 or 9 o'clock depending on how slow the morning goes. So in this morning the boys wanted some cinnamon toast so I made them some of that. I just throw it in the air fryer real quick. And then they wanted some cereal and some grapes. While they're eating breakfast, they usually watch some cartoons or something. They were watching the Who Was series, and they finished all of that, and then now they're back into Bluey again for like the 100th time, so. So while they're watching that and finishing up their breakfast, I'll usually get some coffee started. So I'll get that started, and then I'll usually start a load of laundry. I've been trying to do smaller loads at least every other day. I'm trying for every day, even though it's not a big load because if I do it that way, I'll actually get it out of the dryer and fold it and put it away in the same day and not just leave it sitting in the dryer like I used to do for wherever. I'm awful at it, but I'm getting better. Once that's going, I'll go let the dogs out and, and then we'll get the kitchen all cleaned up and the boys will brush their teeth and all of that kind of stuff. And then we'll get started with school. So right now our routine's pretty simple. We start the morning off kind of slow with our devotional book and our journals. The boys just draw in their journals what they feel like drawing. And then most of the time they're still drawing while I'll read out of the Bible. So I'll read that to them and they'll finish up their drawings while I go transfer the laundry and all of that kind of stuff. And then we'll get into their schoolwork. Throughout the morning, the boys will get their pace work done. And if we have time, they'll do some extra things. And then usually after lunch, we'll get our other work done. But I'll get back to that in just a second. On this day, Adam brought home a few groceries when he got home from work. He usually gets home around lunchtime. He got a roast and some au jus gravy and some brown gravy. Then he grabbed some biscuits, some paper towels we were out of, some parchment paper, some carrots, a carton of eggs, a can of beets. Yuck, but he has a plan for them. <laughs> And he also grabbed the boys some ice cream cones. These were like bubblegum flavored and then a regular vanilla and chocolate. I do not recommend the bubblegum ones. It was just really weird. So anyway, while I'm making the boys lunch, they'll do their pace work. In the morning, usually they're done by the time Adam gets home. It takes them a couple of hours. And then after lunch, we'll usually do our literature and creative writing, that kind of stuff. We're just now getting into it. But so far they're loving it. We're doing Charlotte's Web right now and learning about all of the elements of a story. So they're really loving that. Today they just wanted some hot dogs for lunch with some blueberries, peanuts, and some chips. Adam got our roast going for dinner, and since we were running short on time, he just cut this up into chunks before he put it in the slow cooker so that it would cook a little bit faster. So he just threw that in there with three cups of water, 
the au jus packet and the brown gravy packet, and then just some Tony seasoning. Nothing else, that's all he did. I think he put that on high until dinner time and it was delicious. And then for my lunch, we had some leftover pulled pork in the fridge, so I just heated that up, along with a bunch of frozen veggies all mixed together, and some leftover pasta salad. So like I said, usually after lunch we'll finish up our literature or anything else we have left to do. And then I'll get to cleaning up the kitchen. I don't really clean up while the boys are doing school because I'm in the schoolroom with them, helping them if they need me to. Most of their work they can do independently, but you know, I still grade their papers and if they need my help, I'm right there. So I usually wait till they're all done, so by lunchtime my kitchen is a disaster, but that's okay. I just get that cleaned up and get the laundry out to fold and clean up whatever else I need to do. And then we'll move on to the rest of our day. Seriously, smell them. Take a big whiff. Dirt. They smell yummy. They smell like dirt. They smell like purple. No, they seriously smell like, or like when you cut the grass and all the clippings are left on the ground and then it rains and they get like musty and moldy. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what they smell like. That's so gross. Like baby corn. These and baby corn are about the only thing I will not touch. I'll eat the eggs, but those are staying in the jar. I had two boys that didn't want to do school today, so it took longer than normal. And Adam's making pickled eggs. Wait, Michael. you look disgusted while you're making them, so why are you... I want that you were about to say I look disgusting. No, you look disgusted. You're making a face while you're making the eggs. Don't rip the things. Hold on. What is it? <coughs> the the hardest these? hidden picture book ever. Everything Kids Puzzle Book. Enjoy your gift. Love you all so much. God bless you all from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. That's awesome. Yeah.
These are going to be so much fun. I love books like this. This is my favorite thing when I was a kid. I'm sorry you didn't get anything. Here you go. Kill it. <laughs> Kill it. Get it. So on this day, I actually ended up sitting down with the boys. They were either playing a video game or watching a movie or something, and I fell asleep. Some days that's just how it goes. Like I said, I'm not a morning person, so sometimes mom just needs a nap. Anyway, so now it was time to get the rest of dinner going, and Adam chopped up some potatoes and carrots, and he just drizzled those with some olive oil and seasoned them with a mixture of salt and pepper, seasoned salt, parsley, and garlic and onion powder. He just got these in the oven to roast. I don't know how long he did them, but there they are. They're roasting. We just served our roast with our veggies and our gravy and some biscuits, and this was so delicious. I'm so excited for fall and cooler weather to get here because I love the kind of food you eat in the fall, and right now it's just too hot. But we didn't care that day because it was raining, and it was delicious. So the boys had their weird bubblegum ice cream cones after dinner. Usually after dinner we all sit around and watch a show together, or the boys were playing with their chess set, and we just find something to do until the boys get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for being here and spending the day with us, and we'll see you guys in the next one.